friends in this video we will study that what is a microcontroller so let us start with the topic this word microcontroller it is composed of two terms micro plus controller Micro means very small in size and controller means a device which controls the operations of all the devices. Okay, so here we have the word micro for small and controller means controls all the operations. So microcontroller we can say that they are the devices which are very small in size and they control the operations of the of all the other devices okay now microcontroller a general microcontroller it consists of various components like memory is there and this memory can be either ram or rom ram is the random access memory and rom is the read only memory okay so this microcontroller it can have memory it can have serial input output ports also it can have the peripheral devices okay and uh, timers and counters all those are there in the microcontroller so we can say that the microcontroller it generally consists of all these components So a microcontroller talking about its components, it will have built-in RAM, ROM, input output ports, serial ports, timers, interrupts and clock circuits. All will be present in the microcontroller. So we can say that microcontroller, it is nothing but it's an on-chip computer. Okay, all the devices of the computer, they are embedded on a single chip that will be called a microcontroller. So another name for microcontroller is the on-chip computer because it is having all the components which are embedded on a single chip. Now if we compare this microcontroller with the microprocessors, so microprocessors they are having the central processing unit that is CPU, they will have a separate memory, separate block for the input output ports and separate block for the interrupts, timers and clock circuits. So everything is separate on that uh, microprocessors. So uh, but in the case of microcontrollers because it is having all the things on one chip so we can say that uh, all the features of the microprocessors they, uh, of the microprocessors they are contained in the microcontroller so microcontroller it is comprising the features or it has a microprocessor plus it has the memory section and the input output section also So all the components of the microcontroller, they are uh, in the microprocessor plus the internal ROM and RAM and the parallel and serial ports. So if we uh, combine all these things, we will find out the microcontroller. So we can say that microcontrollers
incorporates all features of the microprocessor. Now as the microcontroller because it is a type of controller it is controlling all the functions so they are very powerful devices. So as they are controlling the functions, so when the, uh, the microcontrollers, they are used in the uh, any application, so they will act as the dedicated devices which are controlling all the functions. If we take an example here, the example of this is like a microcontroller, they can be used as the engine controllers in the automobiles. They are also used in the washing machine, in the VCD players and uh, in the microwave ovens for control controlling the temperature there in the ovens if we want to control the temperature that is done by the microcontroller so for uh, any specific task if we want uh, uh, to use some device for a specific task we use the microcontrollers so as an engine controller in automobiles Also as the exposure and focus controllers in the cameras also the microcontrollers are used. So in all the applications where controlling is required microcontrollers can be used. Now as the microcontrollers it has all the devices which are embedded on the single chip that is the memory and the input output ports, serial ports, timers, counters all are present on a single chip. So for their manufacturing the CMOS technology is used and due to the CMOS technology the size of these microcontroller is very small. That is why the word micro is there that is microcontrollers they are very small in size because we are using the CMOS technology and all these small devices they are embedded on the uh, same chip. So these on-chip peripherals, the input output ports, serial ports, they are selected according to the task performed by the microcontroller in a particular application. So if we want to use the microcontroller for automobiles, we will have the uh, different uh, operations have to be performed. For microwave ovens, different operations are to be performed. So for depending upon the applications, the peripherals are chosen. So we can say that on-chip peripherals, they are selected according to the task performed in the application. So on-chip peripherals, they are selected depending upon the specifics, that is specifications of the target application for which application the microcontroller is to be used. Now as these microcontrollers, they are powerful devices, digital processors. So the degree of control provided by these microcontrollers and the programmability, it provides significantly, uh, it is going to significantly enhance the effectiveness of the application. 
application because if in an application if we are using a microcontroller in place of a microprocessor the effectiveness or the efficiency of the application will be increased in the case of microcontroller because they are very powerful devices digital processors and they can better control the operations of the applications so these uh, microcontrollers we can say that they increase the efficiency of the application now different applications of this microcontroller we know that they can be used in washing machines in vcd player in microwave oven in robotics also microcontrollers are used and in industries also microcontrollers are used so these are the various applications of the microcontroller we have the uh, applications in the robotic field also and in the industrial field also okay now talking about the development of the microcontrollers the intel company it uh, designed the first microcontroller which is the 8051 microcontroller intel designed the first microcontroller and this first microcontroller is known as 8051 microcontroller this microcontroller was developed in late 1970s means in 1980s we can say 1981 it was developed by the intel and this microcontroller it is an 8 bit microcontroller Eight bit microcontroller means uh, we can uh, classify these microcontroller on the basis of the bits processed by them. So eight zero five one is an eight bit microcontroller means it can read, write, and process eight bit data. so whatever microcontroller which is dealing with 8 bit data that will be called an 8 bit microcontroller if it is dealing with 16 bit data then it will be called 16 bit microcontroller and if it is dealing with 32 bit uh, data then it will be called as 32 bit microcontroller so 8051 was 8 bit microcontroller and uh, all the microcontrollers which belong to this uh, family they are known as mcs 51 family okay so all these microcontrollers which are of 8 bit they will belong to this family so this was done little bit introduction of what is a microcontroller what uh, which is the first microcontroller designed and uh, what are the applications of this microcontrollers so i hope that now this topic is clear to you that what is a microcontroller thank you